A local musician is on a mission to save band programs in the Jackson Public School District. He hopes, through a few gestures of kindness, that he'll spark a trend in the community to help rebuild struggling music programs. 12 News' Anthony Howard sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with the philanthropist. Anthony? Well, Jackson native Antoine Perkins says music has always been a major part of his life. The artist told me it's hard watching music programs decline around the city. Now he's calling for other musicians in the area to join his efforts to save the band programs. I've been through a lot and I want to bless people. Antoine Perkins is a local recording artist aiming to make a difference in his community. When I was a kid, it hurt me because my mother, she couldn't afford to buy an instrument. It hurt it so bad because I always wanted to march with the band. And um, so I knew when I got older, I wanted to do something from a philanthropy standpoint. As an adult, Perkins went back to his high school alma mater with his first philanthropic act. And I blessed the school with a saxophone to give to a random, um, less fortunate child. Only, only want to know the child is going to, but I just want to give it. Okay. Presented them with uh, the saxophone, and he was he gave me a hug. Actually, he was so. This, he told me that they actually needed it, you know, because there was a young lady that needed the uh, the horn, and there was a couple of horns missing from their section that they needed. The only thing I need is by my side. That exchange inspired Perkins to do more as he witnessed a need across other high schools in Jackson. Lanier is currently rebuilding their band program, and this will be a great help to them and to a child that can't afford it. You know, uh, I believe that it'll be a great surprise for them as well. One Friday afternoon, the musician went to the home of the Bulldogs to donate a trumpet to the school's band program and received a huge welcome he never expected. Band director Antonio Bratton told me it's a challenge rebuilding a band program, but donations bring hope. It's frustrating, um, but you can't give up. You know, you know where it's been, you know, but just get it back to where it is. You know, just gotta keep fighting and keep fighting and keep working, getting more kids like Dontavious to be interested, and it'll come together. We don't really have, we don't really got that many instruments in there. So, you know, this is addition to something. You know, hopefully we can proceed more in the future. We have to push the agenda to save Mississippi's music. The bands are getting smaller, the uh, core of music programs. And what happens is when there are budget cuts, music is the first thing to go. And we have to save it. Since Mississippi is the birthplace of America's music, we have to save the music. We have to say, no, nah, we got to keep our music because we're the originators. We started this. So if we teach our kids that, they, don't, they wouldn't embrace fighting at schools. They embrace picking up an instrument. They embrace positivity with extracurricular activities. So this, this is important. Now, the, mus the musician is challenging other musicians to donate old instruments or new instruments to schools in need. Antoine Perkins told me this is also just the beginning as he's developing a scholarship program for high school students who desire to study music. Mayor. 